guys, it's Wohey, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys an awesome trading method, which is uh, one that I used a lot last year. It was probably my favourite, and I've not really used it that much yet this year. I've not done that much trading, but now I am getting into trading. I'm doing much more trading, and I'm making a lot of coins, and I will probably be bringing back one of the series I used to do last year. I did trading uh, to a certain player in a day. I could do that again. I also did trading to particular players. I did trading to Team of the Season Verratti, stuff like that. I could do, for example, trading to 100k. Uh, or trading to a certain inform. So if you want me to do any of those sort of series, tell me in the comments down below. And those were kind of the first kind of big series that I did on my channel, which really did help me grow on YouTube. But anyway, this uh, trading method here is the Hunter Catalyst Shadow method. And I found a very, very effective way of using it, which has helped me make a lot of coins. So what you want to do is go to maximum buy now of around 1.5 thousand coins. And then you want to go to uh, the Hunter Catalyst and Shadow Chemistry Cell. So we're going to start with Shadow. And basically what you want to do if FIFA will actually load, it's being really slow at the moment, but basically you just want to go to the 59th minute like this and then you can find a lot of really good deals in the 59th minute. Uh, you can get them on bid as well, but I find better deals to be in the 59th minute. I can get them quicker as well. So I've been able to make a lot of coins and you can get some really, really good deals using this method. Uh, I've been very surprised with some of the players I have managed to pick up. I will show you some examples that I did pick up slightly earlier on today. Uh, after I have shown you uh, specifically what I do do for this method. Uh, also guys, uh, apologies if I do have a video coming out every two days. That is because I am in France probably at the moment. I'm not too sure when this video is coming out. I might have been able to do videos every day, but I'm not too sure. But here we are. We're at around the 59th minute. And here we, we are looking at players in shadow. So we've got Bender right here. Uh, we've got, let's see, uh, on this next page. The transfer market is really slow. We've got an Alonso for 1.1. We've got Wilson there in shadow. Uh, you get quite a few position change cards, which is pretty good as well. And you can get a lot of deals even down to like the 45th minute or so as well. So it's not just around the 50th minute. We have a Carvalho here actually converted to a center mid uh, and in shadow as well. I've had some good position changed uh, cards I have managed to pick up. And if you look at his card, he's going for about 800 coins normally. Uh, shadow costs around 1,000 coins. So... That's instantly look like going to be some good profit if you can pick uh, him up and then sell him on. I reckon for around about two and a half thousand coins, I expect I can sell him on for. So what you want to do is go up to the 59th minute for each of these different chemistry styles, and then you can just refresh the market by pressing Y and B, Y and B, Y and B, and that's going to keep bringing up new players, and uh, you can then constantly find new uh, deals to really pick up. So I'm just going to sent him to my transfer list. So I have no idea why FIFA is being really slow at the moment, but uh, it just is. Probably because I'm in the middle of rendering, uploading, and recording uh, loads of videos at the moment, just because uh, I am going away on holiday tomorrow. So yeah, that is why I'm just getting all these videos done. So this method here, I mean, you can use uh, with a very low budget, which is what I really like about it. Because uh, when I do do some new series is where I do trading in, it's a really good kind of starter method. Before you get onto trading with informs and stuff, uh, you are able to trade with uh, chemistry styles. And you can have like 5,000 coins and still make lots of profit. So we've got a Jonas in Hunter for 1.5 thousand coins converted to center forward. So that is a really, really good deal there. Again, another position change card, which uh, I do end up picking quite a few of those up. So here we go. What other deals do we have? We've got a Benteke. Uh, we've got a Fakir for 1.3 in Hunter. Hunter is by far the most expensive chemistry style as well. And Fakir seems to actually be selling for around probably 1,000 coins. So in Hunter, that is a good deal. I reckon I can sell him one for probably 2,500 coins, making uh, just over 2k profit from him. So we've got a couple of non rares there. No one looks like they'll sell on. Uh, Hunter is where you really can make the most coins, really. But what you want to make sure you are doing is buying players in the appropriate chemistry cell. So you don't want to really buy any centre-backs in Hunter, for example. We have a Dallas Sandro here for 850 in Hunter. That is a really nice deal. And then we have a backer for 800 in Hunter. So I'll pick him up as well. And we've not been outbid or anything. We've not uh, really had any competition to pick these deals up. And we just got some really, really good 59-minute deals. And, I mean, those sort of players there, you're getting for near discard price. And they have a chemistry style that sells for a lot as well. So we've got all those deals right there. And I'll send those to my transfer list. And as I said, I do have quite a few examples to show you. And we are going to finally go to the Shadow. I think we've done the Shadow, actually. Yeah, we're going to go to the Catalyst chemistry style right here. Now, Catalyst, you want to be looking at fullbacks. is probably the most defensive players you want. Strikers, it doesn't 
it doesn't like make their price go up too much. You're mainly looking at midfielders, in particular uh, wingers, uh, left and right mids especially. This is the most popular chemistry desire for those players. And yeah, you don't want to be picking up like a centre back with catalyst because. No one is really going to specifically look up a centre back with the catalyst chemistry cell because they just get the shadow chemistry cell. Uh, same goes with strikers. You know, if someone's not going to look up a striker in the shadow chemistry cell, they're more likely to look up the hunter chemistry cell. So that will make their prices uh, quite a lot higher. So make sure that you don't accidentally like pick up some uh, centre backs with the hunter or catalyst. Just stick to shadow for for any defenders really. Uh, shadow can also be good on uh, defensive midfielders though. Uh, as can Catalyst and Hunter can be good for cams, not just for strikers. So uh, you do want to pick up people who have appropriate chemistry cells. So you will kind of uh, get to know what chemistry cells work best for what players uh, and which ones make their prices go up more when you do use this method. And that is something I really recommend for you guys to do is when you are trading is as we just get a Fakir actually converted back to a cam in Catalyst for 1.4k is try these methods out a lot and then you will get to know the market and you'll know what people sell for so you'll really be able to recognize a deal and instantly pick it up without having to wonder or check uh, the player's prices or wonder if it is a good deal to pick up or not so uh, you do eventually kind of get to know the market 650 coins here for Phillips in Catalyst 90 pace silver playing for QPR he is actually going we've probably like found his lowest I uh, said 650 is probably his lowest by now at the moment and that is in Catalyst so where's he gone he might have already been bought. No, he hasn't. So I'll pick him up for 650. And you just get so many really, really good deals. And this method is insane for making coins really quickly. I mean, you can get so many deals so quickly. Uh, but uh, as I said, look out for like Jagielka. You don't want to be picking him up unless he's going for like 700 coins. Uh, then it would kind of increase his price a small amount. You're looking for players like Piatti and Lenz, wingers, who the chemistry cell would really uh, improve. Especially people like Milner as well, who are quite slow. And they could do with having their pace upgraded and it uh, does work well for their position So to see if there are any more deals here. We have got let's see how this uh, what this silver Bacali is selling for because I know he's got an upgraded card So this one might be quite rare and he's going for about 1.3 So that's not really a that too good of a deal because I doubt people are going to want to buy him They're more likely to just go for his uh, normal gold upgraded card so just quickly see if there's any deals. As said, what you want to do is just press Y, B, Y, B, Y, B. Uh, you can do that uh, focusing on a particular chemistry cell. I recommend if you do do that, do it with uh, the Hunter chemistry cell. Uh, or you can just swap between the chemistry cells and go from one to another. So uh, now we have managed to pick up a few deals. I'm going to go to my transfer list and I'm going to show you a couple of examples of players I have managed to pick up. And then we are going to try and sell them on. And you guys are going to see just uh, the amount of profit you can make from this method. So if we go to my transfer list, I think I am currently selling on a couple of players right here. Uh, I'm just going to quickly relist these items. I'm uh, in the process of selling on some informs from the trading method I did yesterday. These two informs right here. I don't know if it was yesterday. I recorded it yesterday. I don't know when it will be coming out. It might be before or after this video, but I did an inform trading method uh, not too long ago. But here are the deals that I've managed to pick up recently. We have a backer in Hunter for uh, 800 coins. We've got a Gradle in Hunter for 1.1. He actually goes for about 1.5 anyway. We've got Perisic converted to right wing in Catalyst for 1k. We've got Carvalho converted to centre mid in Shadow for 1.5. We've got uh, an Dallas Sandro, the 5 star skiller, in Hunter for 850 coins. That's a great deal there. That's also his transfer card which sells for a bit. We've got Phillips in Catalyst for 650. We've got a Trooper Mosing converted down to Cam and in Hunter which will probably go for about 3.5 to 4,000 coins. Hernanes in Catalyst there. Players like Hernanes, Catalyst is perfect for them because they're an attacking midfielder, they need good passing and he's also not the quicker so people are going to be very likely to buy him with the Catalyst chemistry as well. We've got a Fakir for 1.4k converted back to a Cam. He sells for about 1k anyway and he's been moved to a Cam and he has the Catalyst chemistry style as well. We then have one in Hunter for 1.3k. We've got a Pirlo converted down to CDM in Catalyst for 950 coins. Catalyst is what people are most likely to want to buy him in as well because they want to increase his pace and they want to make his passing even better than it is. So he would have like 96 passing with the Catalyst chemistry cell. 
on. So 950 coins, especially converted back to a CDM, is a really good deal. And finally, we do have Jonas 1.5k in Hunter. So I'm just going to go and list these players up, and I'll be back, and I'll show you how much I did list them up for. Now, I recommend listing your players up for one day, but in this case here, I've listed them up for three days. That's because I'm going away on holidays, so uh, then I won't need to list them up again. But uh, I recommend listing them for one day. We've got Backer for 1.6, a Gradle for 1.9, Perisic for 2k, Carvalho for 2k, uh, Dallas Andro there for 1.7, Phillips for 1k, Triple Moting for 2.9. Uh, another good tip is instead of listing someone for 3k, for example, listing them for 2.9, they're much more likely to sell. And that really does work out very, very well. I mean, you can uh, trick people into thinking that uh, a player is cheaper than they actually are just by uh, doing, for example, 950 coins. Uh, people are much more likely to pay that than they are to pay 1,000 coins. It's like something selling for 99p. Uh, it seems cheaper, a lot cheaper than something that sells for like one pound or something. So that's just a, a little sort of trick that you guys can use to your advantage to sell players on. Hananis 1.5, Fakir and Cam and Catalyst for 2.1, uh, Fakir and Hunter for 2k, uh, Pirlo CDM and Catalyst 1.7, Jonas Senford and Hunter for 2.5. And I guarantee that these cards are going to sell on within the three days that I have listed them up. Uh, they're all very popular players, they all have the most popular chemistry cells, and people are just going to want to buy them, so I definitely recommend trying this method out. It's probably my favourite method to use right now, I'm making a lot of coins from it, but I am using a lot of different trading methods, and if I do find any brand new ones that are really effective, I'll bring them to you guys as always. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, if you did smash the like, subscribe new, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.